R35 comes from the 6th of April 2000 intermediaries legislation. It was first proposed in the 1999 budget press release numbered IR35, hence now commonly referred to as IR35. The aim of the legislation is to eliminate the avoidance of tax and national insurance contributions NICs, through the use of intermediaries. Prior to the legislation, a worker could take the money out of the intermediary in the form of dividends instead of salary. The legislation ensures that if the relationship between the worker and the client would have been that one of employment had it not been for the intermediary, the worker pays a tax and NICs on a fair basis. Prior to the legislation, a worker could take the money out of the intermediary in the form of dividends instead of a salary. The legislation ensures that if the relationship between the worker and the client would have been one of employment had it not been for the intermediary, the worker pays a tax and NICs on a fair basis. The legislation itself is not targeted at any particular occupation or business sector. It applies in any business sector. The rules will apply to you if you answer yes to both the following questions. Would you be an employee if you worked for your client directly and not through your company or partnership? And does the company or partnership you work through meet certain conditions regarding ownership of the company? HMRC monitors compliance with the legislation to ensure that taxpayers do meet their obligations to pay the correct tax and NICs. Where HMRC find that the incorrect classification has been applied, they have a duty to ensure things are put right for the past and, where appropriate, for the future. Interest and penalties may be charged on any additional tax and NICs due to as a result of any review or inquiry. Those that can be held liable are the worker, the intermediary, the composite managed service company and sometimes even the agency. HMRC have additional powers to claim lost tax and NI revenue off any party who materially benefit from the placement of workers under the transfer of debt legislation. You will need to ensure you do not use a managed service company and in no way take dividends. Investigate and opt for a HMRC fully approved tax efficient solution. When choosing your solution make sure the following applies. You are fully employed. You do not receive pay and dividends. The company operates a normal PAYE scheme. You pay employed class 1 national insurance contributions and the company continue to operate in a HMRC compliant manner. For a qualified solution, contractors will receive all the usual employment rights and protection given to individuals working for an employer. The service should offer both security and compliancy to all workers, clients and agencies alike. The company you choose should ensure each and every contractor pays a correct level of tax and national insurance contributions.